Okay, what we are discussing right now is battery weight. It's often been thought that for these hybrid diesel electrics uh, that they have to have huge batteries and that the weight of the batteries um, is really too much for, for uh, most boaters uh, use. Uh, that's not really true. Uh, what happens is the diesel electric because it's a componentized pallet style propulsion system is scalable up and down both the size of the generator and the size of the batteries to suit the user's needs. If the user is a racer, the user can use UU1 batteries, which are wheelchair batteries, along with a smaller 4 kilowatt generator in order to have only 15 or 20 minutes just to get the boat out of the slip and get it back. However, they still have a generator so that if they sailed far away and the wind uh, completely died, they can start the generator up and get home. But they really only have 15 or 20 minutes worth of powering on batteries alone and they don't plan to run an inverter or uh, any other kind of uh, air conditioning or house amenities that require a lot of battery power. If the user is a day sailor, then he is somebody that may go out for one day, may go out for the weekend, but typically is not going to have air conditioning and those type of amenities. That type of user wants a little bit more battery time, and he may go to group 27s or group 31s. That user would also probably have a 6 kilowatt or even a 10 kilowatt generator depending on the size of the boat. This user will now have as much as an hour or two hours and in some cases if the hull form is really slippery uh, in the case of an uh, Islander 30 that we did in Santa Monica, California, he could get almost four and a half hours of motoring off of these batteries. Um, uh, this user may also have a small inverter, maybe only three and a half kilowatts, just so that if he goes on an overnighter uh, um, uh, for the weekend, he can have the Mr. Coffee in the morning turn it on via the inverter and make some energy but he also has a 6 to 10 kilowatt generator so that if he's caught a long ways away from home or if he's in a rush to get home he can fire up this generator and go at maximum speed all the way home. The next group we have is the cruisers. The cruisers are already carrying a lot of battery power. The cruisers are already carrying an inverter and the cruisers because they're out on the hook for extended periods of time often have air conditioning and some of the other amenities that are typically used at home. The microwave oven, uh, the Mr. Coffee, uh, in my case uh, the bread maker and the mixer as well. Um, the cruiser would want to go with a 4D or even an 8D battery. The cruiser, because he's typically on a bigger boat, will have the same one to two hours worth of motoring on battery power alone. Except the cruiser, because he has all of these amenities, may have as big as a three and a half or even a six kilowatt inverter and will typically have uh, uh, because of the larger boat that can carry the larger battery weight will typically have a 15 kilowatt to as high as 30 kilowatt generator. Um, this user is going to have air conditioning. Uh, this user with the 4Ds or the 8Ds will also be able to anchor the boat and run an air conditioner at night without having to listen to the generator. Um, we've calculated that a single 12,000 BTU air conditioner 
running off of the 4D batteries at 144 volts DC um, off of the AirPak's uh, 3.5 kilowatt inverter will actually run for eight hours um, without having to recharge. But the generators all come with auto start, auto shut off. So if the batteries drop sometime during the night, then the uh, uh, generator will automatically start. Last but not least, we have the most comfortable cruiser. This is the guy that's only going to go with the 8D batteries. He was already carrying four, five, or six 8D batteries because he was running a, a, trying to run a big inverter. And he is going to have the 15 to 30 kilowatt generator. But he may also, uh, in the case of some catamarans that we've done, uh, have multiple inverters and in, in different hulls and uh, be running all of those at the same time. So the overall uh, uh, effect of what, what we can do with these diesel electric hybrids is to tailor the system to anybody's cycle of use. Um, your cycle of use may be even somewhere in the middle. Maybe the day sailor guy that wants to be ultra light but wants to be able to turn up or turn on a generator and be able to scream at full power all the way home. Um, you may be a cruiser that wants to have the 8D batteries and wants to have a smaller generator um, because you're willing to go slower on long passages. Um, uh, uh, an example of that are some of the catamaran users where the boat can really do 10 knots. But at 6 knots, it only uses half the power. So instead of having a 30 kilowatt generator, that user can get away with a 15 kilowatt generator because his long passages are made at 6 knots and that handles the long passage.